All right, folks, what project are we doing today? This weekend, this weekend, we are going to be putting in an air conditioner for the shipping container, specifically the man cave portion. But uh, I've got this partitioned off wall. If I wanted to open the door and air condition the whole uh, shipping container, I could. So anyhow, uh, we went with a 8,000 BTU air conditioner, which is a little overkill for this. You could have gone with the five or six probably, but I wanted to uh, be sure to have that oomph if I needed it. Uh, I figured it'd be a little bit uh, better for the air conditioner to not have to run as hard too. So we've got uh, I've got quarter inch flat stock by four inch. I could have done eighth inch if I wanted to, but we're gonna do this. And we've got our wall. I made my wall, and I made these supports here. Now then, you have to do some serious calculations. Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, cut once. Okay, because you've got to compensate for the thickness of this metal. So I made this hole in the uh, two by fours, but you also have to compensate for this metal. What we're gonna do is make a sleeve, a metal sleeve. Since this is corrugated, the outside of the shipping container is corrugated, it means it angles in and out. So it's not gonna be flat. You gotta compensate for that. So I had to go with, I went with four inch to, uh, you'll see. So, this here is gonna sleeve in. Like so. Alright, for right now, all I'm doing is tacking this in. Uh, got me some clamps to hold my metal flat to the 2x4s. Like I said I'm not going to burn this in. I'm going to actually scoot this into the wall, make my marks, start cutting this sheet metal out on the shipping container and slide it in as we go. I want as tight as a gap as I can. Once I get all that cut out, I'll tack weld this to the actual shipping container and I'll probably pull this wall piece out, pull the wall out and then weld it in. That way I don't catch anything on fire. Folks, I uh, got the sleeve cut out, the hole in the shipping container cut out, and I took that sleeve and I tacked it in just a little bit, and I put the air conditioner in just to make sure it would fit. Double checking before I welded everything in solid. Um, now this air conditioner is supposed to sit slightly canted out, so down this way. That way the water will drain out of it, not inside the shipping container. So uh, I made that sleeve slightly canted down and there's enough space between the top and the bottom of the air conditioner where I can actually angle it a little more if I need to. But uh, I'm gonna take this air conditioner back out. Um, as you can see, the vents aren't all the way out anyway. I gotta do some trimming on the inside on the two by four studs to get it out just a little bit more. Uh, but we're gonna take it out and weld this thing solid. Um, I'm not gonna weld one side all at once. You wanna kinda stitch around, do maybe two inches here and then go do two inches over there. Then do two inches over here, do 10 new inches over here. That way the metal has time to cool down. You don't wanna superheat it and make it warp, okay? 
but that's why I went with a four inch plate because this metal is corrugated so it goes in and out and in and out so I had to do that all right we're gonna take it out and finish welding it up All right, here we are. This is what we're looking like. Show you a close up of this before I get. So what I did, if I had a router, this would have been a lot easier. But I took a uh, grinder and ground this down so I could get this air conditioner sticking out as far as I wanted. Then I drilled some holes in this piece and screwed it in there. Then I came back with some spray can foam and foamed in the air gaps. Now remember to put this air conditioner at a slight angle down, that way the moisture drains outside. I'm gonna come back, trim off this excess foam, and we're gonna put our plywood in I already cut the hole. The uh, hole is pretty close. May not be exact, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna come back and put some trim around the air conditioner. video up. As you see, just got plugged into a uh, extension cord right now. I still got to run a power outlet over here. I'm not going to run that right now on the video, but uh, built a sleeve for it, metal sleeve for it, welded the sleeve into the shipping container, uh, built my uh, wood frame, I wooded it in, got insulation foam back there, foam board, uh, painted it, trimmed it out, make it look a little better. We should be good for this summer, all right? So, uh, outside, I still gotta go out there and do a bead of silicone just around the very edges of my metal frame I built and the actual uh, casing on the air conditioner. But, that is, how we did our air conditioner in the man cave portion of the shipping container. Next week, I plan on doing a beer of the weekend. 
uh, give you a full tour of what we've got accomplished in the man cave. Uh, we've got a name for it now. I'll let you know that next week. Okay? Thanks for watching.